Hi, today we're here to talk about potassium nutrition and the management tools available for in our crops. Western Canadian soils are actually adequate in potassium. We'll see soil test results of anywhere up to 350 to 500 parts per million. But high levels of magnesium in our soils can create an imbalance and lead to a lack of potassium availability to the plant. Most growers, when they look at a soil test, they see those high levels of potassium in the soil test, but they don't understand that we need to look at that potassium-magnesium ratio. We need to compare the potassium to the magnesium base saturations. If we have a number lower than 0.25 on our K to mag ratio, what we will see is that imbalance and reduced uptake of potassium. So what are the challenges with using potassium fertilizers? Well, firstly, potassium is immobile in the soil, so we need to put it close to the seed. But one of the challenges with this is most potassium fertilizers are going to be high salt concentrations, which can lead to damage to the young roots. So when we look at potassium as a nutrient, what is the importance to the plant? Well, firstly, potassium is important for the movement of carbohydrates produced during photosynthesis from the sink organs, which are the leaves, down into the source organs, which are the roots, shoots and tubers of the plant. Also, potassium is important for keeping that plant's water relationships all in good condition. It helps maintain a good cell turga within the plant, which leads to better water use efficiency in the hotter, drier summer months. Potassium can also help with resistance to pathogens. As we spoke about already, if we can't move those carbohydrates or sugars that are produced during photosynthesis out of the leaf, they accumulate. And the sugar accumulation is a great food source for things like insects and diseases. So what does potassium deficiency look like? Well, it looks like a yellowing or chlorosis of the margin of the leaf, followed by necrosis or brown cell death. And basically this is going to happen on the older part of the plant, because potassium within the plant is mobile. So how can we manage this in the growing crop? Well, we can manage this using a foliar potassium product. Foliar potassium products are going to be somewhere between 15 to 27 times more efficient than a soil applied fertilizer. And at ATP, we have two main foliar potassium product lines. We have the first line, which is our relief family, and our second line is our energy family. So for more information on both families, please feel free to visit our website. And thank you.